Hey, what's up, Kazis? It's Matua Kiwi here, and today I'm going to be doing 17 Would You Rather questions given to us by BuzzFeed. Now, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go and do that. Um, would you rather yourself, or you can play along with me, or just watch the questions and see how I react to these questions because some of these questions are fucked, man. I tell you, I tell you right now, they're pretty ugly. So, yeah, I guess I'll catch you Kazis in there, man. Okay, so it says we recently asked members of BuzzFeed community and Tumblr to tell us the hardest would you rather questions they can think of. So, question one, would you rather smell like poop and not know it? Or constantly be smelling poop that nobody else can smell? Um, shit, I smell like shit anyway. I'll just go with that. So, 82% of the people agreed with me don't forget if you want chuck what you answered in the comments man get amongst them it's all good anyway let's jump on to our next question all right so here we go would you rather only eat roadkill for the rest of your life or have everyone else in the world sound like gilbert godfrey i have no idea oh i know who he is he's that guy who speaks really really nasally and it's got like a really raspy voice isn't it i'm pretty sure that's the guy i don't mind his voice i mean you guys have all heard mine and i have to listen to that every day when i open my mouth to speak so i'm good with everyone sounding like old gilbert Godfrey. it's all good and also roadkill shit throw that skin that motherfucker Put that on the barbie, it's just meat. It's all good. I mean, these are all like complaining, it is roadkill, but let's be honest, it's just meat. Think of it as a pre-made meat patty or pancake. It's flat. It's ready to go straight on the grill. You're straight up. One of my um friend's relatives lives over in Australia and he literally eats roadkill. Kangaroos, right? They get hit by a car. People leave it on the side of the road. If he sees it, he'll pick it up, he'll chuck it in the back of his truck, and he will take it home to cook, you know? He'll cut it up, he'll butcher it, he'll chuck it in the freezer, and he'll eat it as he needs it. Roadkill is just meat. I mean, it's pulverized meat, but what do you think's in your meat patty? So, I don't know. I'm gonna go with roadkill, man. Can't taste that bad. And to be honest, Gilbert Gottfried, you have an angel's voice. Yeah! Everyone knows roadkill's just meat. What is up? Either that or they just really hate that guy's voice. No, wait, I'm wrong. I'm reading that wrong. Nobody wants to eat ro roadkill. Is just. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I mean, we we're getting a little dark now. Now it's gonna get a little bit morbid here in a second. Um, you may want to plug your ears, but. If a person gets hit by a car, that's literally roadkill. So do I get the choice of what kind of roadkill I eat? Can I be like a vegetarian roadkill eater and only eat animals? Because I feel like that's a little fucked up if we have to eat a person because they got hit by a car. Let's not go down that road. I'll just eat the possum. But yeah, it's just meat. I mean, possum, I've eaten possum. Possum doesn't taste that bad. I've never had cat or dog. Or kangaroo. I don't know what kangaroo tastes like, but I bet you it tastes good. If you're an Australian and you've ever eaten kangaroo, tell me. Tell me if it's good. I love meat. Doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. Meat's just good. So yeah, 20% agree with me. 80% can go get stuffed. Next question. Would you rather have taste buds on your butthole or poop through your mouth? Um, that's like, that's going next level on the biological scale of things, man. I mean, if I poop out my mouth, does that mean the arrangement of all my internal organs have changed? And now my mouth is a butthole and has it always been a butthole? And does that also mean that my anus has now become my mouth? So I eat through my anus now and my mouth becomes a butthole. Taste but on your butthole, oh! Taste buds on your butthole. Shit, no! Oh shit, through your mouth. I don't know. Um, either way, <laughs> you can be tasting shit, man. But hey, at least if it's coming out your mouth, 
you can say, hey man, I took a lot of shit. I'm sorry. Just pretend that never happened. I am. That never happened. I never said that. So, I don't know. I'm... This is... Wow. Alright. I'm gonna have taste buds on my butthole. And then I'm gonna scrape those taste buds off. Oh, Because I do not want to shit through the mouth. <laughs> yeah. 89% of people want taste buds on their butthole. I don't know. Shitting through the mouth. That's the next level, man. Oh, that's just nasty. Alright, next question. Would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? I'm gonna go with never have to speak again, man. I mean, sign language. What's up? I can write. I can draw. I can draw like a motherfucker. And, um, yeah. I have some pretty nasty things on my mind. I mean, like, I do try my best to speak what's on my mind, but I know there are some things that I just should not say. Like, when a really, really sexy woman walks past, rather than me just saying, DAMN! You know, I, I just look, or, my god, I just want to grab that ass. Grab him by the pussy! There's just some things you shouldn't say, Donald Trump. Even though you really want to, just keep that stuff to yourself. So yeah, I'm gonna go with never be able to speak again. I'm good with that. Like I said, I can draw like a motherfucker. 75% of people want to go to jail because of stuff they say. I don't know, yeah, I got some pretty dodgy shit on my mind that I'd, I'd just rather not other people hear. And like I said, I can draw like a motherfucker. So, next question. Would you rather be itchy for the rest of your life or be sticky for the rest of your life? Ha, huh. I can see a couple of brothel jokes there, but I probably shouldn't. Like I said, things on my mind, people. Things on my mind. So, um, ooh. What degree of itchy? What degree of sticky? Like, sweat can be a little sticky sometimes. That kind of sticky? Or like, sticky or sticky tape or glue kind of sticky? And what kind of degree of itchy? Like, you know, like a little itch? Or I have a bad rash on my anus kind of itch? Honestly, I want to go with sticky. I hate being itchy. I hate being... I'm a dick when I'm itchy. If I'm itchy and the missus asks me something, I'm like, bitch, please. I'm just, I'm just angry. And I don't even know. Well, I do know why. It's because I'm itchy. So I'm good with being sticky. But I don't want to be itchy. So let's see what everyone else thought. Ooh, it's pretty close. I mean, 54% of people want to be sticky. And 46 want to be itchy. That's real close, man. I mean, that's, because let's be honest. They're both pretty shitty things to be. Like, really shitty. Especially for the rest of your life, but I can't handle itches. If I have an itch, I have to scratch. I would just go nuts if I was itchy all day, every day. So no. Alright, number six. Would you rather eat a bowl of that, that vomit or lick a hobo's foot? Do I get to clean his foot first? And if I eat the bowl of vomit, do I also get to change into a birdie? I mean, birdies eat vomit anyway. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe I get to turn into a majestic phoenix and eat phoenix spew. Or I just get to lick a hobo's foot. You know what? I will take that hobo back to my house. I will wash his foot with turpentine, with methylated spirits, with every goddamn cleaning agent I have in my goddamn house. I would soak that shit in janola and bleach. And then I'd, you know, I'd rinse it off. Give it a good rinse. And then maybe just the tip. Maybe just the tip. I mean, I can clean a foot. You can't clean a bowl of vomit. There's just no two ways about that. There's no way around that. You're eating vomit. You can clean a man's foot. So, I'm going with the hobo's foot. 93% of people realize you can clean a foot, but you can't clean a bowl of spew. That's just nasty. All right, number seven. We're almost there, man. Would you rather go through life with a perpetual cold sore on your mouth or go through life with a booger hanging from your nose? I got a big nose, so I'm pretty sure boogies come out anyway, man. Even if they ain't that, I'm pretty sure you can see them. I mean, the size of my nostrils. These have probably seen it on my um my jump scare video. What was it called again? Eyes. I'm pretty sure you've seen it on there. I mean, my nose is quite big. It's not a small nose. You can see it. It's like a fucking crater on my face. But yeah, so um, hmm, how big does this booger have to be? And does it have to be, like, down to my lip? 
we're gonna be just over the edge. Or, no, no, I'm going with Booger, man. I mean, who the hell wants to kiss someone with a cold saw? I can wipe a boogie. Can't wipe a cold saw. That shit's like face herpes, man. That shit is just nasty. So, I'm gonna go with Booger, because I can wipe a booger. Cold saw. Oh, no. It's just nasty. Face herpes. Looks like people want cold sores on their mouths. People like to look like they have herpes on their face. Come on, a boogie's not that bad. Tastes like, just tastes like chewy salt. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea what's not taste like. Alrighty, number eight. Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life? Or join in once to stop it? Oh, that's, that's cringy. You know what? I'm gonna go with watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life. The next fucking day, I'm gonna get a bowl of boiling fucking water. I'm gonna open my eyes wide and I'm gonna tip that shit straight onto my eyeballs. And if that doesn't blind me, I'm gonna sit outside and I'm gonna stare at that sun for 24 hours straight. Wait, no, you can't do that. Why am I saying you can't stare at the sun for 24 hours straight? The sun has to set at some point. And I can't run around the world to follow it. So, maybe I just stare at some sort of light. Well, I can stare at the sun for a little while. Then I can stare at some light bulbs. And if that doesn't work, I'll get a pair of scissors and just take to my eyes that way. No, I'm not playing your game. This is a nasty ass question. <laughs> so I'll go with uh, number one and then just blind myself. I would rather be blind for the rest of my life than watch my parents have sex. A lot of people are actually picked to watch their parents have sex. I mean, that's gross joining in. That's even gross watching. But at least you can blind yourself. I guess you could also chop your penis off later, but you know, ain't no way that happened to me. Ain't no, 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 no. All right, number nine. Would you rather smell like eggs when you burp? I, I like things like garlic, so eggs is all good. Eggs is okay. I love garlic. Eggs is a plus. Or, have a green cloud appear when you fight. Oh, that's just funny. Oh, that, that, I love it. I'm going with the green cloud. I could be my own fucking cartoon. Shit. I could be a vine star with that kind of shit, man. I just walk around town and fuck green gas on people. Shit, I'd be famous. I want to go with have a green cloud because that's just funny. It's hilarious. It's like cartoon styles, man. I love it. Nobody wants to fart green clouds. Is that just because I have the mentality of an 11 year old? Is that what that is? Or is everyone just ashamed of fighting shit? Well, if I never I fought, I own that shit. Someone said, who farted? I farted. You know, I ain't afraid. It's just a fart. And if it's green, it's an amazing... Oh, and then I guess, you know, that people <laughs> just really do. Like, did you just shit your undies? These green stuff coming out your butthole. But yeah, either... I oh, they're not too bad. I don't know, but that's just... To me, that's just so funny to be able to fart green gas. I didn't read that top one. Smell like eggs when I burp. Because I really ever burp anyway. But farting green gas. <laughs> that's a win. Alright, number 10. Would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life or always feel like you have to sneeze but not be able to? I want to go with sneeze. Um, I don't think it'd be quite hard to function with hiccups. I mean, you can't breathe properly when you've got the hiccups. Like, if it's really bad. And it's annoying. Could you just imagine that? Hey guys, what's up? It's <coughs> Matsuwa. <coughs> we, <coughs> you know? That'd just be a fucking pain in the ass. So I want to go with the sneeze. The 69 of people wanting to sneeze, well, have the feeling of sneezing, but not actually being able to sneeze. And 31 wanted to have the hiccups. I don't know. Since I like to do YouTube, yeah, I think it'd be, be very hard. Alright, would you rather only be able to listen to Nickelback songs? I love Nickelback. I don't know what you're talking about hating on Nickelback. I grew up with Nickelback. I was a Nickelback fan back in the day. I don't listen to Nickelback now because I'm old and I listen to like blues and shit. Like, I listen to old people music now. So, it was either that or 
reread all 56 pages of iTunes terms and conditions every day for the rest of your life. Oh no, I'll go with um, Nickelback because I'm not really listening to a lot of music. I rarely ever listen to music to be honest. Like really, ever, actually. I've probably only listened to music maybe twice this week out of the entire week. Now I know a lot of people probably think that's strange because there's heaps of people out there that listen to it on the daily. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So does that mean, because we have stores that just play music all day in these stores, does that mean when I walk into the store, they have to change their music to Nickelback? I would so do that, just to troll the fuck out of everybody in the country, just to walk into the whatefare and make some motherfucker run all the way upstairs, just so he has to turn off the radio, put the CD on, and play Nickelback. Or does that mean there's a secret agent that follows me around every second of every day of every night of my life? And he has a little gadget. He has a little gadget in his pocket, right? He pulls this gadget out whenever I try to listen to music, right? And when I listen to this music, whatever is playing gets changed to a Nickelback song of his or her choosing. Wow. Mind blown. Cause you gotta think, hey, you're not the only person who's in control of what you listen to, so... Does that also mean if I can hear somebody else listening to music, they have to go buy a Nickelback CD and play that fucking Nickelback CD just because I'm in the room? Does that also mean if I hear a guy busking on the street, does he have to play me a Nickelback song for free? Wow. Okay, this shit's just going downhill. <laughs> Woohoo! 56 people like Nickelback. Or the idea that there's a spy following them around with a gadget in their pocket that changes the music to Nickelback. Number 12. Would you rather live like a king but have no friends and family? I have no fucking friends anyway. I'm just gonna sit here and cry for a little bit. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. And I feel better than ever after that cry. So. Would you rather live like a king, but have no friends and family, or be homeless with your friends and- No, I can't do that. I can't do that, man. Like, straight up. It's one thing for me to be homeless by myself. I don't want to have to bring my friends and my family into it. I mean, my friends and family are living quite comfortably. I don't want to make them homeless too. Fuck it, I'm going with number one. Dear God, 73% of people want to make their friends and family fucking homeless. I couldn't do that to them. I seriously couldn't do that to my family and friends. I couldn't just make them homeless too. That's ugly. I'd rather just fucking disown them. My friends and family and then I'll, I'll be rich and they can still live comfortably. They don't have to be homeless and fucking struggling on the street. No. So as I have to say. Number 13, would you rather eat a potato and feel its pain or be a potato? Depends. Be as Mr. Potato, do I also get a Mrs. Potato and can we do the shakalakala um um as potatoes and have little spuds? Can we do that or no? If we can't do the shakalaka um um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be a potato. I'll just go with potatoes. You know what? The only time I really eat potatoes is if I eat chips, so I'm good. I just won't eat potatoes. <laughs> There's actually 33% of people who want to be a potato. Why would you want to be a potato? Potatoes have no consciousness. Of course, unless you're Mr. Potato and you have a Mrs. Potato and you just can do the shakalaka um um. But otherwise, no, potatoes are not real people. Would you rather have vaginas for ears or have penises for fingers? Depends. Are they are these genital organs fully functional? Like um, these penises. You know, do, do they work exactly like a um, like the penis I have? And if that's true, does that also mean that I have ball sacks hanging from somewhere on my arm, or are my ball sacks that I have now attached to my fingers? Vaginas for ears, I think that also means you're, you're deaf. Does that also mean that, you know, they, um, they work like real vaginas? Like, could I... That's gonna, actually, that's gonna make it very awkward if my hand was all penises. How am I supposed to do the shakalaka um um with myself if I have all penises? I mean, the missus would probably love it. But, what am I gonna do with... 10 extra fucking penises. The hell am I gonna do with vaginas for ears? Well, I might go with vaginas. I've never had a vagina, so, you know, I guess I can see what it feels like to have a vagina. But, 
on my head. Okay, so 64% of people want vaginas on their face and don't want penises for fingers. I have a feeling it's going to be very difficult if you have penises for fingers. I mean, let's be honest here, people. A penis does not work like a finger. A penis does not work like a finger at all, so you pretty much lose the use of your hands. Alright, next question. Would you rather have sex with a goat and no one would know? Not have sex with a goat, but everyone think you did. There's actually a fucking country out there that lets you have sex with animals. Well, it allows men to have sex with animals. As long as it's of a different gender. So, you can have sex with a goat so long as the goat is female. So, I guess it'd be okay if I lived in that country. I don't live in that country and I don't think I ever want to fuck a goat. I just don't see the appeal to having sex with an animal. So, I'm going to go with not have sex with a goat, but have everyone think I did. I don't care what they think. They have no proof. Especially since it didn't happen. Okay, so, there are 55... 55% oh, of these people, 455k, live in that country where you can have sex with goats. Well, maybe there's just a lot of people out there that, you know, just like, I'll try it once. Yeah, nah, I, I don't think I'll ever try it. I don't mind people thinking I fucked the goat, as long as I know I didn't do it. Would you rather pry off your own thumbnail with a fork? I don't think that'd be that hard. I mean, I might need a new laptop screen, but I'm good with that. Or put a toothpick under your big toenail and kick a wall. I'm going to go with the top one. I can buy a new fucking laptop. Easy. So number one it is. So 59% of people are going to take to their laptops with a fork and... 41% of people are going to kick a wall with a toothpick in their nail. Dear God, that's just... I would... I think I would die of the cringe if I ever seen anyone do this. Like, literally die. Ooh, last question. Would you rather know when you're going to die? Know how you're going to die? Um, I want to go with when. For me, if I know when I'm going to die, I can sort things out. Let's say... I'm gonna die a year from now. I would have the foresight to be able to prepare for my funeral. I know it's kind of morbid, but at least then, you know, I don't have to put stress on other people because I know I'm gonna die, so I might as well start fucking getting prepared for it. You know, I can sort out funeral costs. I can sort out things for my kids. If I have kids then, you know, I can just sort of make a hard time easier for those I left behind. So that's why I'd pick that one. I don't need to know how I'm gonna die, but Knowing when I'm going to die, at least then I can do preparations for when I do die. So most people actually want to know how they'll die, not when. Come on, you guys must you need foresight, man. You just need to realise that you can get a lot planned if you know when you're going to die. Anyway, that was all the questions. Um, If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and you like Let's Plays and top lists and tips and tricks so i got all that stuff on the channel and yeah just enjoy the rest of your day morning evening whatever time it is where you are and i'll catch you guys in the next one